let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Oh, Oh. 
towns and villages the faithful dwelling in love in the entire nation. Let us pray the Lord. Lord have mercy. To Lord favorable and for abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times. Let us pray the Lord. Lord have mercy. To Lord travelers on land and sea and in the air for the sake and the suffering for captives and their salvation. Let us pray the Lord. Amen. 
You sons of men, how long will you be hard-hearted? How long will you love vanity and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Repent on your bed for the words of your heart. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and wine increased. I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Give ear to my words, O God, understand my plea. Listen to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct my prayer to you, and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight, you hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord will abhor the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let also those who love your name be joyful in you, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround them as with a shield. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you, in the grave who shall give thanks to you. I am weary with my groaning all night, I make my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. My eye is consumed because of grief, it grows old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication, the Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and suddenly be ashamed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, glory to you. Sword, he has bent his bow and made it ready. 
He has also prepared for him the instruments of death. He pointed his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, the wicked works with iniquity has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it out and fell into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down on his own crown. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth, you who set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings you have perfected praise, because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and all that passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our whole glory to you.
Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your precepts. Blessed are you, Master, help me to understand your precepts. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy is eternal, O Lord, do not despise the works of your hands. All praise, worship, and glory are proper to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us come be our evening prayer, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Now we must say, what's that mercy? And I'll keep us so bad by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peace from without sin. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it so, Lord. May the peace of April God and God in our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it so, Lord. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. All 
your servant going in peace just as you promised because my eyes have seen the salvation that you have prepared for the nations to see a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us of our sins, Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, look down on us and heal our infirmities to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power and glory are God, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and of the earth, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And the holy 
Apostle Lamb, we the church of all the Lord, and the Lord God, and Father John of Sinai, we may remember today of the holy and righteous heavens of the God. Joy to the God and all the saints of mercy on us and save us, Lord. Peace be with the lover of mankind. Amen. Amen. Glory to the holy God, substantial by the union of the Lord, the Trinity, always, now and ever, and until we hear all of each other. Amen. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to men who enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to men who enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to men who enjoy his favor. Lord, open my lips, my mouth will speak out your praise. Lord, open my lips, my mouth will speak out your praise. Lord, how they have increased to trouble me. Many are they that rise up against me. Many are they who say of my soul, there is no help for him and God. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, I woke for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God. If you struck all my enemies on the cheekbone, you broke the teeth of the ungodly. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. I lay down and slept, I woke for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, for chasing me in your heart's displeasure. Your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor is there any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head, like a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds sink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with disgusting disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and severely broken. I groan because of the turmoil of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hid from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light in my eyes, it also has gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They that also seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who seek my hurt speak of mischievous things and plan deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, heard not, and I was like a dumb man who does not open his mouth. Thus I was like a man who hears not, and whose mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Lord, I hope, you will hear, O Lord, my God, for I said, Hear me, lest they should rejoice over me when my foot slips to magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to be wounded, and my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. For my enemies are lively, and they are strong, and those who hate me wrongfully are multiplied. Those also who render evil for good, they are my adversaries, because I follow what is good. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O oh my God, be not far from me, make haste to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, you are my God, early will I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you, in a dry and thirsty land, where there is no water to see your power and your glory. So I have seen you in the sanctuary, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name, my soul shall be satisfied like with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul falls close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower part of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on you in the night watches because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to O God. Glory and mercy, Lord and mercy, Lord and mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry. My soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who are down to the pit. I am like a man who has no strength. Adrift among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, and who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lost pits in darkness and the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your ways. You have put away my acquaintances far from me, you have made me an abomination to them. 
I am shut up and I cannot come forth. My eye wastes away because of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave or your faithfulness in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and having been exalted, I was brought low and into despair. Your wrath has gone over me, and your terrors have greatly disquieted me. They came around me all day long like water, they engulfed me all together. Love, Lord, and friend, you put far from me and my acquaintances into darkness. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and turn your ear to my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forgive not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion. Who fills your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed by the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all that are oppressed. He may know in his ways to Moses and his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always be angry with us, nor will he keep his wrath forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As kind as the Father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and his place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is for everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord of his angels, mighty in strength, to do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, and ministers of his, who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Lord, hear my prayer, and listen to my supplication. In your truth, answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no one living is righteous. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has crushed my life down to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, and my heart is in despair. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all your works, I pondered the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, and my soul thirsts after you like a thirsty lamb. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest you like those who go down to the pit. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for noon do I trust. Teach me the way which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of trouble. In your mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all those who took my soul, for I am your servant. Listen to my supplication and answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Listen to my supplication and answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto each to the ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Oh, glory to you.
Mortals, holy place, and the surrounding countryside, from cities, towns, and villages, the faithful dwelling in the and the entire nation, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Said, 
You showed yourself more radiant than the heavenly powers. Oh, you that carried your Creator in your womb. Glory to Him that dwelt in you. Glory to Him that came forth from you. Glory to Him that freed us through your earth giving.
Holy Spirit for me. Restore to me the joy of our salvation and of hope in the divine Spirit. Then I will teach transgressors the way to you and see that shall be converted to me. Deliver me from the unhappiness of God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall turn to me in righteousness. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall speak of your praise, for we do not desire sacrifice of God, or else I will give it. You do not delight in burnt offerings, sacrifices of God, or a broken spirit, and broken up and fried by God in other stones. No good in your good pleasure to sign the meal that was at Jerusalem. And you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, salvation, and holder and offerings. And I shall offer those on the altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open the doors of repentance, O giver of life, for us. Love for mankind, 
our lives together with your own holy and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and to each other, of each other. Amen. When Israel the world traversed the Gulf of the Red Sea, dry shot, they turned back the might of Amalek in the wilderness by the hands of Moses, which formed the figure of the cross. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou hast lifted up upon the undefiled tree of the cross, O Master, setting aright our fall and healing the universal ruin that came through the trees, since thou art good and all-powerful. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. In the grave bodily and Hades with thy soul, though thou wast gone in paradise of the thief and on the throne of the Father and the Spirit, wast thou who fillest all things, O Christ the uncircumscribable. Most holy Theotokos, save us. By the will of the Father, thou didst seedlessly conceive the Son of God by the Divine Spirit. And thou gavest birth in the flesh unto him who is motherless from the Father, and fatherless from thee for our sakes. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Peoples were shaken, nations were troubled, and mighty kingdoms tottered for fear of thy child. O pure Virgin, for my King has come and hath put down the tyrant and delivered the world from corruption. Most holy Theotokos, save us. When he the dweller in the highest, Christ came down to mortals, he sanctified his tabernacle and showed her to be unshakable. For she alone who gave birth to the Creator hath remained the treasury of virginity after giving birth. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O Christ, my Savior, I have become like the man who fell among thieves, who was wounded and left half dead. For through my sins I have wounds more grievous than his. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Stripped of all thy wealth, he cried out, lamenting, O Savior, I am gravely wounded. Leave me not to the thieves. So do I also pray to thee, O merciful Lord, save me. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. My mind has been scourged with the whips of sin by wicked thieves and evil thoughts. Heal me, Christ my Savior, and save me, for thou art rich in mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O undefiled Mother of Christ, God took flesh from thee while yet remaining always in the bosom of the Father. Pray to him without ceasing that he may save from every peril the creatures he has formed. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Ascending from the dark sorrow of material things, O holy John, thou hast gone to dwell in spiritual light. Give me light through thine intercessions to the Lord. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Suckled on the sweetness of abstinence, thou hast cast away the bitterness of sensual indulgence. And so, Father, thou givest us a pleasure sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ascending to the height of the virtues, and rejecting the pleasures that creep upon the ground, O Holy Father, thou hast become the sweetness of salvation to thy flock. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O thou who ineffably hast borne the word and wisdom of the Father, heal the harsh wounds of my soul, and still the anguish of my heart. I will open my mouth, and the Spirit will inspire me. I will offer praise to the Queen and Mother, and celebrate her. I will appear in the end, and rejoicing I will Rejoice in thee, O Christ our God, as she doth cry out in joy. Thou art my soul steadfastness, my strength, and my refuge art thou, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. The tree of life, the noetic and true vine, hanging upon the cross, maketh immortality to flow forth unto all. Glory to thy precious, glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. As one great, as one terrible, as he that destroyed the insolence of Hades, and as the incorruptible God, he is now bodily arisen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. For those on earth, O Mother of God, thou alone art become the provider of good things that transcend nature. Wherefore we bring thee the greeting, rejoice. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The essence of mortals is made clean, as, though, as through thee it holdeth converse with the unendurable divine fire, being in thee baked like bread in the fire, O all pure virgin, whom the fire also preserved unhurt. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Who is this truly so near to God as to surpass all the orders of angels? It is she who, it is she alone who, in the beauty of virginity, shineth as the mother of the Almighty. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. 
Journeying on the path of life, O Christ, I have been sorely wounded by thieves because of my passions. I pray thee, raise me up. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thieves have robbed my mind and left me half dead, wounded by my sins. But heal me, O Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. My passions have stripped me bare of thy commandments, O Savior of Christ, and I have been scourged by sensual pleasures. But pour oil upon my wounds. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Pray without ceasing, O pure bride of God, to him who came forth from thy womb, that those who sing thy praises may be delivered from the deceit of the devil. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. With the fiery coal of thine ascetic warfare, O saint, thou hast burnt up the thorns of the passions, giving warmth through thy fervor to all who follow the monastic life. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Through thine ascetic labors, O saint, thou hast become myrrh of sanctification, offered up as sweet-smelling fragrance to God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Attentive to the laws of asceticism, with the waters of thy tears thou hast, drawn the, thou hast drowned the passions, as the soldiers of Pharaoh once were drowned in the Red Sea. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Check the restless tumult of my thoughts, O pure Mother of God, and guide me to thy Son. Forgiver of God, O living and overflowing fountain, in your divine glory, preserve those who in spiritual gathering joy to see your praises and grant them crowns of Preserved thee after giving birth as a virgin, 
And when he was born, he kept thee a virgin, as the sovereign master and artificer of all creation. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thieves have despoiled me of my godly actions, leaving me chastised and, and in ag agony. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. My unstable thoughts have stripped me bare of thy commandments, O Saviour, and I have been scourged by my transgressions. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The Levite, when he saw me wounded, passed by on the other side, O Saviour, but do thou preserve me. Most holy Theotokos, save us. As is right, we glorify thee, Virgin Theotokos, and with all the faithful we take refuge in thy haven. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Thou art a fragrant meadow and a living paradise of the virtues in which there grows the fruit of abstinence, and with it thou dost nourish all who honor thee. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. For all who follow the ascetic and monastic way, thou art in truth a lawgiver like Moses, a meek and gentle ruler like David, and we bless thee, O Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Planted beside the waters of abstinence, O blessed Father, thou art become a fruitful vine, bearing the grapes of true sanctity. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Within time, O Mother of God, thou hast borne for us him who shone forth timelessly from the Father. Entreat him to save those who sing thy praises. Divine Jesus, who is seated on the throne of the divinity, came like a gentle cloud into the arms of the pure virgin. Thou hast raised up the fallen nature of man when thou hast hanged upon the tree. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou, O Christ, hast taken away the condemnation of my failings. Thou hast undone the pangs of death, the most compassionate, by thy divine resurrection. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thee do we bring forward as an indestructible weapon against enemies. Thee do we have as the anchor and hope of our salvation, O Bride of God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. From virginal blood, O Christ, thou hast taken flesh not sown by man, without taint, hypostatically united to thee, endowed with reason and understanding, with a soul, with the power of willing, self-ruling, and self-determining. Most holy Theotokos, save us. A virgin womb hath shamed the tyrant's high-mindedness, for an infant hath searched out the soul-destroying hole of the asp with his hand, and destroying the haughty apostate. He put him under the feet of the faithful. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Bind up, O Jesus, the wounds of my soul, as the Samaritan bound up the wounds of him that fell among thieves. And heal me from my pain, I pray, O Christ. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Scourged by my transgressions, O Christ, my soul is sick and in agony, and I lie naked and bereft of the divine virtues. But I beseech thee, save me. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. When the priest and the Levite saw me, they could not help me, but passed by on the other side. But thou in thy compassion hast given me salvation and preserved me. Most holy Theotokos, save us. I entreat thee, Master, despise me not in, the, in my wretchedness, for my mind has been scourged painfully by thieves. But take pity on me, O Savior, at the intercessions of thy mother. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. O blessed Father, thou hast quenched all the passions with the dew of thine ascetic struggles, and with the fire of love and faith thou hast kindled the lamp of abstinence. Thou art a light of dispassion and a child of the day. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. With thy divine husbandry, O Father, thou hast tended the grapes of faith. Thou hast gathered them to the winepress and pressed them out by the labors of ascetic warfare, and filling the spiritual cup of abstinence, Thou makest glad the hearts of thy flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With courage thou hast endured the assaults and wounds of the enemy. Thou art a pillar of steadfastness, supporting thy flock, O blessed Father. Guiding thy sheep with the staff of God, thou feedest them in green pastures, and beside the waters of abstinence. 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. As thou thyself hast said, we call thee blessed, O Virgin, for the Lord has indeed done unto thee great things and magnified thee. Born from thy womb, he has made, made thee true mother of God. Holy universe, marvels at your divine glory, born in your womb, O ever virgin, you carried the God of all, and you bore the timeless Son, who gives peace to those who praise you. I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of praise, O Lord, thus crieth the church unto thee. For by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she hath been cleansed of demons, Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Burdened with power, thou didst descend from the cross, and grappling with the tyrant, thou, this God, didst dash him down from the height, and didst raise up Adam with thine invincible hand. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. <coughs> thou didst rise from the tomb, fair and flashing like lightning, O Christ, and didst scatter all the enemies, by thy divine might, and as God thou hast filled all things with joy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O wonder, the newest of all wonders, a virgin without experience of man, conceiving in her womb, him that careth for all things, confined him not. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Of old the serpent beguiled me and killed me through Eve, my first mother, but now through thee, O pure one, he that fashioned me hath called me back from corruption. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The abyss of compassion ineffably showed thee to be an elect abyss of wonders. O maiden, for from thee Christ the pearl shone forth in the lightning of divinity. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. I have wasted my God-given life on the passions of Master, and I am fiercely scourged in every part by my transgressions. But I turn to thee for refuge, and I pray, have pity on me. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Scourging my mind with the passions, thieves have seized my wealth and left me as one dead. But take pity on me and save me, O Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. When the Levites saw how painfully I had been scourged, unable to endure the sight of my wounds, he passed by on the other side. But thou in thy love hast poured upon me thy rich mercy. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Rightly do we glorify thee as the bush unconsumed by fire, the mountain and the living ladder and the gate of heaven, O glorious Mary, pride of the Orthodox. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Thou hast received in thy soul the divine wealth of the Spirit, prayer without reproach, chastity, modesty, unremitting watchfulness, the labors of abstinence, and through these things thou hast become a house of God. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. O wise Father, thou hast passed by the worthless joys of this material world, and raised thy mind upon the wings of immaterial prayer. And through the perfection of thy life, thou hast received an inheritance on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the sweat of thine ascetic toil, thou hast quenched the fiery arrows of the enemy. Kindling the fire of faith, thou hast brought up the proud insolence. Thou hast burnt up the proud insolence of unbelief and heresy. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The majesty of the Most High has shone out from Zion. Through an ineffable union he has put on flesh from thee, O Virgin, and brought light into the world. Come on, all you God-fearing fool, who celebrate this divine and honorable feast of the Mother of God.
giving light to the ends of the earth, O Father John, our teacher. Truly, O Father, thou hast made thyself into a house of God, adorned through thy divine virtues with faith, hope, and true love, as if with gold shining from afar. Thou hast explained the laws of God and practiced abstinence as one who has no flesh, acquiring wisdom, courage, chastity, and humility. Thou hast raised on high. Thou hast illumined with unceasing prayer and hast attained the tabernacles of heaven, O Father John, our teacher. On the 14th of this month, we commemorate the holy apostles of the 70, Aristarchos, <coughs> Prudens, and Trophios. On this day, we commemorate our hol the holy martyr, Arvalion the Mind. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr, Domais of Alexandria. On this day, we commemorate the contest of the holy new martyr, Demetrius of the Peloponnesus, who was from Lindalisa of Tripilia and was beheaded in Tripoli in the year 1803. On this day, we commemorate Saint Athenios the Wonder Worker. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Anthony, John, and Eusaphios of Vilna in Lithuania, who were slain in the year 1842. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Great Lent, we commemorate our venerable father among the saints, Saint John of Sinai, the author of the Ladder of Divine Ascent. O Christ our God, through the intercessions of our venerable father, John of the Ladder, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. The flame of love of piety, rather than the fire, the Abrahamite children in the Persian furnace cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Mankind is called back to incorruption, washed in the divine blood of Christ, and thankfully singing, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. How life-giving, how much more beautiful than paradise, and truly more resplendent than any royal palace, proved thy grave the source of our resurrection, O Christ. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, O sanctified and divine tabernacle of the Most High. For through thee, O Theotokos, joy is given to them that cry, Blessed art thou among women, all immaculate lady. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The fire of longing in my heart for the Virgin draweth me to him that he, to cry out to the Virgin and Mother, O Blessed One, the Lord of hosts is with thee. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou hast, seen to, thou hast seen to be higher than creation, in giving birth to the Maker and Lord. Wherefore I cry to thee, O Theotokos, O Blessed One, the Lord of hosts is with thee. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Thieves fell upon me, poor wretch, and scourging me, they left me a lifeless corpse. Therefore I pray to thee, come to my aid. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. My ever-moving thoughts have robbed my mind, and striking me through the passions, they have left me dead, because of the multitude of my transgressions. But, O Savior, heal me. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. When the Levites saw me injured and in pain, thinking my wounds incurable and unable to endure the sight of them, he passed by on the other side. But, O my Savior, do thou make me whole. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Taking flesh from the Virgin, O Christ, thou hast saved me, pouring the oil of thy rich mercy on my wounds. Therefore I glorify thee. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Thou hast led thy flock to pasture, O Father, in the green meadows of the heavenly kingdom. And with the rod of true dogma, thou hast driven away the wild beasts of heresy. And thou dost sing aloud, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. Thou hast entered into the joy of the heavenly bridal chamber of Christ the King, clothed in a garment worthy of him that called thee to the feast. And seated beside him, thou dost cry aloud, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Father, thou art a river of abstinence, not polluted with sin, but washing clean the thoughts and purging away the filth of those who cry aloud in faith. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord of all came forth from thy womb, taking flesh from thee, O Virgin. Therefore, with true Orthodox faith, we honor thee as Theotokos, and we cry to thy Son. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. The God-fearing did not serve creatures, but only the Creator of all, that man Trampling on the menacing fire, they rejoice singing, Most glorious Lord, God of our fathers, blessed are you. For Daniel stretched out his hands in the dead, and he shut the gaping mouths of the lions. Then 
the children of lovers of piety who are girt about with virtue. Quench the might of the fires, they cry. While you work, so the Lord, bless you, the Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, when thou didst stretch out thy hands upon the cross, thou didst gather together all the nations, and didst show them to be one church, <coughs> which praiseth thee, O Master, for those on earth and in heaven, as with one accord they chant. O all you works of the Lord, bless you, the Lord. Glory to, your, glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. An angel clothed in white and flashing like lightning with an unapproachable light of the resurrection appeared to the women and cried, Why seek ye the living in the grave as though he were mortal? Truly Christ is risen, to whom we cry, All ye works, praise ye the Lord. <coughs> Most holy Theotokos, save us. In all generations thou alone was shown to be the mother of God, O Immaculate Virgin. Thou becamest the dwelling place of the Godhead, O all blameless one. Not being burned by the fire of the unapproachable light, wherefore we all bless thee, O Mary, thou bride of God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Abraham in his tent saw the mystery that is in the O Theotokos, for he received thy son, who was yet, who was as yet without flesh, and did sing, All ye works bless and praise the Lord. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The prefiguring of thy virginity preserved them that were equal in number to the Trinity. For in virginal bodies, O may they trampled on the flames, crying out, Bless and praise the Lord. <clears throat> glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Robbed by my thoughts and scourged by my transgressions, O Savior, I have ruined my life, and I have been stripped of thy divine image, O God who lovest mankind. But take pity on me. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou hast come down upon earth from on high, O Savior, taking pity on me when I was wounded in every part by the scourgings of sin. And in thy compassion, O Christ, thou hast poured upon me the oil of thy mercy. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O Master and Savior, thou hast given thy body and soul as a ransom for me, when I was wounded in every part by the great number of my offenses, and there was none to heal me. Thou hast saved me in thy mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. At the word of the God-man, O virgin, in ways past understanding, thou hast borne the Lord and still remained inviolate. With all his works we bless thee and exalt thee above all forever. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. O Father John, truly in thee we have a living pillar and image of abstinence, and we all honor thy memory. Venerable Father John, pray to God for us. The Brotherhood of Monks rejoices, and the Assembly of the Saints and the Righteous dances with gladness. For as thy just reward, thou hast received a crown with them. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Adorned with the virtues, thou hast entered the bridal chamber of ineffable glory, singing in praise of Christ forever. <coughs> now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Reject us not, O Virgin Maiden, for, maiden, for we need thy help. And we sing in praise of thee and exalt thee above all forever. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord. We exalt and extol him above all forever. That above all young men in the first place, I love in
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today is a festival, for it calls together every part of the monastic flock, inviting all to share in the feast of spiritual rejoicing, and in the food of sinless life. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. He who took up his abode in thee, O all blameless lady, has overthrown the murderer that in malice caused the fall of our first father and mother. He has been born and he has saved us all. Like a reborn toy, exalt in the spirit, and let the bodiless power celebrate the holy peace of the Mother of God, and when the prior rejoice, most blessed perfumer of God, O pure and ever virgin Forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass away. 
Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the depths. Fire and hail, snow and ice, storm and wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedar trees and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He has exalted the horn of his people. A praise for all his saints, even if the children of Israel be near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let the Israel rejoice in their maker, and the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name of the dance, let them sing praises to him with joy and heart. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and will exalt the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud them in their beds. The high praises of God shall be in their mouth and be restored in their hand. To execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples. <coughs> to bind their kings with chains and their noble with others of either. To execute on them their written judgment. Desirable ye saints, we glorify your resurrection, O Almighty Lord. Who suffered the cross and death, and are risen from the dead? Lord, ask and open the blue screens, and the Lord, ask and pray. For to the Lia, for the Lia, for Kuncha, thou mayst toss at the rest and Kuncha, that thou mayst toss at the rest and Kuncha, that thou mayst toss at the rest and Kuncha, that thou mayst toss at the rest and Kuncha. Kilo ya fira mo asra ngay sobi ya kusula rata de kukuriya to atela yuntu pentru a jasa strigantie chelche a yumi ya de kuts wame slavazi. Ndaze pentru te lalia da super lava multi mia slave lui. Cu crucea ta, Hristoase, Mântuitorule, Îndreptează-ne pe noi la adevărul tău Și ne scapă de curțe de vrășmașul lui, Cel ce a iubirea din mor, spală-ne pe noi, Cei că sunt prin păcat, Din sânduri la ta, Iubitorule, de oameni, Doamne, Pentru rugăciunile Sfinților tău. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with psaltery and harp, with our parting from the bosom of Thy Father. Only begotten Word of God, Thou camest upon earth, changelessly becoming man out of love for men, and Thou didst endure the cross and death in the flesh. Thou who art impassible in Thy Godhead, and having risen from the dead, Thou didst grant immortality unto the race of men. 
that Christ our true God through the prayers of his own pure mother, and the holy apostle Andrew, the first God of our venerable Father, among the saints John of Sinai, who we remember today of the holy and righteous ancestors of our joy, Kimana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good and love of mankind. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord appeared to the disciples, going to the mountain for ascension for earthly things. And they worshipped him and learned from him the power given to him in every place. And they were sent to every nation under, the, under heaven to preach his resurrection from the dead and his translation to heaven, to whom he had promised, not lying, that he would be with them forever. For he is Christ God and the Savior of our souls. Come, let us worship and bow down for God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down for Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and bow down for Christ Himself, our King and our God. Give ear to my words, O God, understand my plea. Listen to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For it's you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning I will direct my prayer to you and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord will pour the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house and march to your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship towards your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth, for them is part of destruction, their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God, that them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out to the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. Let all, the, let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let also those who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. Lord, you have been our refuge in all generations before the mountains were brought forth. Wherever you have formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction, saying, Turn back, you sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You carry them away like a flood, they are like a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which grows up. In the morning it flourishes and grows up. In the evening it is cut down and withers. For we have been consumed by your anger, and by your wrath we are troubled. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins, in the light of your confidence. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years as a tale that is told. The days of our lives are seventy years, and if by reason of strength they are eighty years, most of them are only labor and sorrow. For as soon cut off, we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, help walk. How long and have compassion on your servants. O oh, satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which you have, you have afflicted us and the years in which we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants and your glory to their children. And let the light of the Lord our God shine upon us and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I will sing of mercy and justice to you, Lord, I will sing. I will behave wisely in a perfect way when you come to me. I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away and shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will cut off. The one who has a haughty look and a proud heart with him I am not eaten. Him I will not endure. My eyes shall be on the faithful man that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He who works deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my sight. Early in the morning I will slay all the wicked of the land, and I may cut off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Having learned the joyful proclamation of the resurrection and the evolution of the ancestral curse from the angel, the women disciples of the Lord lately told the apostles, Death is despoiled, Christ God has risen, granting great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You made the wilderness your dwelling, O our Father John, the bearer of God. You became an angel in the flesh and a wonder worker. 
through fast vigils and prayers, you obtain from God special graces to heal the sick and sanctify the souls of those who come to you with trust. Glory to the one who gave you strength. Glory to the one who crowned you. Glory to the one who through your intercession grants healing to all. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call you who are full of grace? Heaven for your dawn, the sun of righteousness. Paradise for your blossom forth the flower of corruption. Virgin for your maiden untouched by man. For your mother for you held your son, the God of all in your holy arms. Intercede with him that he save our souls. Direct my steps as you have promised, let evil with no power over me. Rescue me from human oppression, and I will observe your precepts. Treat your servant kindly, and teach me your statutes. My mouth is full of your praise, O Lord, filled with your splendor all day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O soul and Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, look down on us and heal our infirmities to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and now endeavor and unto we are the legion. Amen. Truly the Lord has set you as a fixed star in the firmament of abstinence, giving light to the ends of the earth, O Father John, our teacher. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord at all times and every moment, you are worshipped and glorified in heaven and on earth, O Christ God, O patient, merciful, and compassionate one, who love the just and have mercy on sinners, who call all to salvation by the promise of your glory. <coughs> Accept our prayers at this time, O Lord, and direct our lives according to your commandments. Make our souls holy, our bodies pure, our judgments correct, and our thoughts clean. Save us from all danger, evil, and pain. Surround us with your holy angels, so that being guarded and guarded under their protection, we may come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of their unapproachable glory. We are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraph. Without loss of virginity, gave birth to God the Word, to birth giver of God, we praise you. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. And the Lord, the Lord, God, the Lord, shine the light of his face upon us and be merciful to us. Amen. <coughs> o Christ, the true light, who live as the sanctifies every man who comes into the world, shine on us the light of your face, and then we may see the unapproachable light. Guide our footsteps to the fulfillment of your commandments. Through the intercession of your most pure mother, give all your holy ones, Amen. Holy glory,
Amen. 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 Amen.